Constructing these juggling clowns led another mathematician, Dr. Claude Shannon, to become more intrigued with the problem of building a real juggling machine. Machines like this uh, only give the illusion of juggling. They have a complex mechanism, but the uh, props, as we call them, never actually leave the ground. They're all held up by uh, black wires and so on. And so far as I know, no one had ever built a real juggling machine. Uh, it occurred to me that I would like to try to do that. The juggler's skills cannot yet be engineered. To build a device that could imitate him, Dr. Shannon had to simplify the problem. When you bounce juggle, the ball is almost stationary, so you're not wasting much energy. All you have to do is give it a little toss like that, and it will come back to the same height. So you're saving a lot of energy. Uh, the, uh, one can see how easy it is. Another aspect of this is that the move ball is moving slowly when you catch it. W.C. Fields, Dr. Shannon's juggling machine, lacks feedback. It can't sense variations in its toss or catch, and so must rely only on the repetitive dynamics of the ball's fall and bounce in order to maintain its rhythmical cascade. Cup-like hands help make up for the lack of feedback catching and funneling the balls back onto the optimum path. The mathematical analysis of juggling 